Well, come on, guys. Well, I am in Greece. I'm in Athens at the moment. With BMW Motorrad, I'm doing one of their Greek short adventure tours. Incredible. Corinthian Canal, where we are now, then down on this coastal piece, and then back into Napilo. Oh, <laughs> the same sort of thing, yeah. But yeah, go on. To coin a phrase. Live your life. Try not to die. Breezy. I don't know how many times I could just say incredible views. <laughs> So that was the uh, amphitheatre. Incredible, actually. First, it's the first sort of old ruin I've ever been to. Sort of a Romany type Greek ruin like that. 200, 200 BC. That was built in. 200 BC. Absolutely mind-boggling, isn't it? So now I think we're heading on. We've got another couple of hours. I think about an hour and a half. Nigel was just saying, some lovely roads again, and then we uh, stop for another coffee, and then on to the hotel after the coffee. I was a bit of a fool, and actually I left my keys in the bike and went off to lunch. It's a good job that Mike, sorry, but Nigel was uh, staying with the bikes, so I left the bloody keys in them. <laughs> Mike lost his keys, he managed to drop his keys down inside the fairing there and thought he'd lost them, I found them for him. So a couple of numpties, that's the trouble when you've got all, if I'm thinking about what I'm going to video, what shots I want to get, you know, changing batteries. There's so much to think about when you're trying to do a vlog of a trip like this. There's so much to think about anyway, with this sort of, sort of trip, you know, where you key, you know, all this spite isn't yours, sat now, you know, what you do with it all. There's all of that, plus the extra massive aggravation of, of all the cameras and everything. So. It's very easy to lose track of things. One of these days I'm gonna get caught out big time. <laughs> I lose the bike keys or something. What a dick. Right, look at those mountains. Let's head off, hopefully back onto some incredible roads. Cause I have not had enough of the twisties yet. Bring them on, Nigel. Bring them on. Done. I'm hoping with the 360 camera you get a bit of the grandeur. With, with the GoPro it just flattens everything out and you lose the grandeur of things like th these mountains. I'm hoping with the 360 you're getting a bit of that coming through because even on my uh, Viplin 701 commute, I don't know if you saw that, even the A34 looks good. <laughs> so I'm hoping put some scenery like this through the Insta360 and what's it going to come out like? I'm hoping pretty awesome. Definitely one for the big screen. Get it, cast it to your tellies. Look at that view. It's worth standing up for. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> Just wow. Okay, we're indicating left here. The sat nav says nothing about this. Sat nav says go that way. Marjorie's taking us up. Look at the twisties that if we'd stayed on this way. I don't know if that's a good idea, Nige. I'm not sure that's a good idea. Let's hope he knows what he's doing. Oh, wow. There's going to be a lot of wows in this video. Wow! fantastic coastal road this is i'll give you that nigel i'll let you off nigel look at that up ahead every time i come to somewhere in europe it just makes you realize how utter garbage is well what utter garbage the riding in the uk is just incredible Absolutely incredible. 
I'm gonna have to stand up again. I'm sorry, this whole video is just gonna be me going, wow, wow, look at this, it's incredible. Look at that. It is just that though. Amazing. That looks pretty magnificent. The windmill's up on the, in the cloud cover there. Absolutely magnificent sight. Incredible. Enjoyed that little stretch immensely. Absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. I think we're just pulling up for some refreshments. This is like a perfect place to stop. By the sea. Wow. Look at this. Beautiful. Anyone got any idea where we are? Greece. 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 <laughs> <laughs> the G. Begins with the G. Yeah, it's ga gal Galitas. Galitas. Galveston. Gal There's a song in there. Who's holding up? Who's up for a boat trip? There we go, not too shabby this is it. Any idea what this town's called? Nigel? Yes I do, Galitas. 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 Look at it, absolutely gorgeous. It's the island of Poros behind you, sir. Poros, oh really? <laughs> That's actually an island, is it, that one? The next bit's going to be a it is narrow and windy. Is it narrow and windy? Oh, yeah, I don't mind narrow and windy, yeah. yeah. It's only another 40 k yeah. to your coffee stop. Is so. it? Well, oh, fair old trek there, so it's, still. It's a good stop, time to stop now, just to charge the batteries a little bit. Literally. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Literally, point. in my case. Onward. That water looks so inviting. Oh, look at that sea. Oh, look at that. It just makes you want to jump into that. Look at it. Look at these roads as well. Now, looks like this route, looking at the sat nav, is going to take us right along this coast. Very tight, very twisty. I love tight, twisty roads. My favourite. Woohoo! I'm actually quite enjoying not having a quick shift and blipper for once. Doing all the down blipping. Rev speed matching. Especially on, on this where, you know, the bike isn't the best handling bike in the world. So throw in a bit of manual blippage and and shifting just to make things more interesting this is great isn't it that you've got so many different sorts of roads you've got these beautiful coastal twisties and then you've got stuff like this these are very these are amazing these there's such a different level of rideability on this group there's people who've only been riding a couple of years it's all people of a certain age, <laughs> myself included. I've got people who've been riding a couple of years, so sort of very late to, to biking. People who rode a lot when they were younger and then have a, had a massive break for years and years and have only been riding for six months again since a big break. And all sort, and all, everything in between. Some people coming with their, you know, couples coming, so they've got their wives on the back. It's, uh, it's fantastic. What I really like about it is today, yeah, I've been following Nigel. But you can, you don't have to. You can go off on your own if you wish. Didn't lean that one in, that was a tighty. <laughs> no, 
I'm just taking the shortcuts. Look at the views in front. First car we've seen for miles. Love it. Bloody brilliant. I love these little roads. Oh, to have a 690 SMCR around here. Enough to make you giddy. Oh, look at this! Look at this! Oh, it's just, just look. If I could, it's like, oh, speechless. A dream, a dream location. Right, looks like we're heading into Erminos now for a quick coffee, quick break and a coffee. I think we still have 80k to go until we get to the hotel. I, I can't see it. That seems like a hell of a long way. But Erminos, I'm hoping he's the Greek god of Coca-Cola. <laughs> because I'm dying, dying for a drink. So we're heading to the hotel now, that was the last stop. But we still have 78 kilometers until we get to the hotel. It's now half past four. Estimated arrival was quarter to six. And apparently we're going on quite a twisty route again. A bit like we just came down to this place, really twisty. Roads perhaps even a bit rougher, so a bit more off the beaten track. Ice cream, I miss the ice cream. They've got ice cream there. Miss that. <laughs> There's certainly plenty of riding on these, this trip. They're not short, short changing you on the amount of bike time you get. I, I should have reset the, the trip. The bike's just turned 40k. I'll have to check on the video what we had this morning. But if we've got another 80k's to go, we've done 200k's today, I'd say, of tight, twisty roads. It's, it's you know, you're not being shortchanged on your on your time in the saddle, that's for sure. If anything, I'll be happy to rock up at the hotel now. <laughs> bit of pool time, bit of beer time. But I'll be regretting that when I'm sat at home in Blighty when the rain's lashing down at the window and I'm wishing I could be out on twisty roads. So let's do it. Motorcycles are just so beautiful round bends. It's almost, it's like a dance. Dancing with the bends. You get it right and you're smooth. There's not a better feeling. There is not a better feeling in the world than a motorcycle and some twisty roads. It's an art form. <laughs> and you're about to see a masterclass. <laughs> Holy joking. Nigel's not that good. Some absolutely incredible 
roads around here. They, they've got this, Nigel's got this routing spot on, because this is the first Greek tour they've done. They've not done a bad job of finding all the best roads. Absolutely incredible. There's not been a bad, well, just earlier this morning, just coming out of Athens, there were some motorways and toll roads. That was not great. Since then, there has not been, been a bad road all day long. They've been absolutely incredible. Tight, twisties, fast flowing roads, twisty roads like this. Some amazing scenery. I mean, look at the scenery now. Incredible scenery, incredible roads. Greece is an amazing place to ride a motorcycle. I absolutely love it. What a fantastic first day. And I've got two more days of this. Two more days. Well, we've still got another 38 kilometers to go. And coming down through, I think we've been up in the mountain area, the, the roads are deteriorating. Really getting tight and twisty, and the surface is deteriorating. There's big potholes, a lot of gravel in the road. It is now quarter past five. I don't know what time sunset is, but I'd say it's a half hour away or so. It's absolutely gorgeous around here, absolutely gorgeous. Again, we've not seen a car in miles. It's just endless, endless twisty roads. So we set off at nine o'clock this morning. Quarter past five, we're still on the bikes. <laughs> and I think we've got another 40. It's gonna be, well, six o'clock this afternoon, I'd say. So we've probably got another 45 minutes riding yet. Plenty of seat time. You can have earned those beers <laughs> by the time you get to the hotel. Here we are at the hotel. It is, we've just filled up with fuel. Let's do one because there's traffic. It's in a car all day, but there's traffic everywhere now. It is just gone six o'clock, 10 past six. Whew, absolutely shattered. Absolutely shattered. It's like eight hours of, we've got to look for the train here. Eight hours of riding. Well, nine hours of riding, nine hours of riding. Hell of a day, hell of a day's riding. Loved every second of it though. But now, hotel, shower, shave and a load of beer. Brilliant, thank you. <laughs> Executive BMW parking, none of that normal car park nonsense. Biker friendly parking. This is the hotel, not part of the hotel, there's, there's the hundreds of nesting birds in these trees coming in to roost. It's a really, really nice hotel actually. Live pianist <laughs> in the evenings. There's just hundreds of birds in there. Ooh, not a bad pool as well. Look at that. There's the hotel room. For some reason I've got, just me, but I've got three beds. It's quite a big room but it's just full of beds. The good news is with three beds, I've had a chocolate on every bed. So I've eaten two of them, got another chocolate for bedtime. This is what it's like. You come back, you've got to start copying all your data over to your computer, or you're emptying your SD cards, charging all your batteries, charging batteries here. It's a nightmare. This is it, this is the vlogger's life. <laughs> but never mind that, we're going down to the bar now, because it's time for some beer, while things are copying. Woohoo, beer o'clock. The sun has literally just risen. Everyone's ready. Everyone's loading up the bikes. We are ready for another fantastic day of riding. You all ready, guys? Yeah. Uh, it's, a bit, it's a bit early. Not bad, is it? <laughs> <laughs> 